lecturer slash research associate at Mulawi Khan Institute of Engineering Sciences and Technology. And today I have successfully completed my first semester as a lecturer. Uh, in fact, the day before yesterday, my students had their final exam and yesterday also. I, I'm teaching two courses this semester and the exam for the other course was yesterday from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Yes, I said p.m. not a.m. Uh, I will be making more videos about GIK and from those you will know that life at GIK is not really easy student, for students, for teachers it's really easy to be honest. For students, yeah, they have their quizzes and their exams at night as well because this is a fully residential campus, but more on that later. Um, I wanted to share my first experience. The semester has been great, challenging, yes, definitely, uh, but I expected that and I prepared myself accordingly. I was teaching two courses this semester, EE361 Communication Theory and EE444 Digital Control Systems. And teaching Digital Control Systems was particularly challenging for me because it's a final year course. EE361 is a third year course. I was teaching six semester students and EE444 is a final year course. I was teaching eight semester students. That course was particularly challenging for me because Keeping everyone on the same page was really difficult during this course since as you can imagine in the 8th semester students are focusing on the masters on uh, taking different tests, IELTS, GRE etc, securing a scholarship, job interviews. So the attendance is usually pretty low in the 8th semester courses. They also have their final year projects to focus on. A lot of other stuff is going on and every course gets a bit of a divided attention. The biggest challenge was dealing with this shortage of attendance. A lot of students are barely making to 80% in the final, uh, at the end of the semester. Uh, so whenever some students are absent in one class or two classes and the next one they're not really able to understand what the instructor is talking about. I realized the challenge early on in the semester and the way I dealt with it was I always dedicated 10 to 15 minutes to revising the previous lecture so that everyone is on the same page. Um, I hope I got that right. I will be making a lot of videos on how to prepare for the entry test. My own education is from NAST and from Birkin University. Uh, out of 55 to 60,000 students who appear for entry test, I was in the top 100 students. Um, I secured a scholarship for my first semester uh, for NAST. I will be making some of the videos about how to prepare for the entry test. I did not join any academy. I prepared the entry test on my own and I did electrical engineering from NAST. Afterwards, I secured a very good scholarship for masters. I joined Bilkent University in Ankara, Turkey and I did my masters from there. So I will be making some videos on how to apply for masters, how to uh, look for good scholarships, how to secure them, uh, how to appear good in your interviews. Uh, I will be making some of uh, the videos about uh, undergrad projects, undergrad semesters, how you should be studying, what should you what should you be focusing on after your undergrad electrical engineering studies or any other engineering discipline in Pakistan? Um, a, a question that I get asked a lot is, ma'am, whether should we go should we go for a master's or should we go for a job after graduation? So I will be answering some of those questions. If you have any question in particular, you can post in comments and I will try to make a video on that. This is supposed to be a guidance series for the undergrad students in Pakistan, especially focusing on engineering students and electrical engineering students in particular. Uh, so I hope to make a difference. I hope to provide some guidance, which is kind of rare. Uh, the challenge I faced as a student uh, in FAC, in metric, there was a lot of lack of guidance for me. There, there was a lack of career counseling. So this is supposed to be uh, a volunteer work a tutorial series, you might say, uh, for students in Pakistan who are pursuing degrees, pursuing educa higher education, who want to go abroad, who want to look for uh, good jobs. So let's hope 
uh, everything goes good. I will be looking for your feedback. Please post your comments. Please post the questions that you want to ask. If you're a student, you can ask me technical questions as well. Uh, I might start making some technical videos as well related to the courses I'm teaching. So see you in the next video.